we set aside a little bit of time, and Gator put some effort into piecing together his picks for the Kentucky Derby, which will be run tomorrow. Uh, Gator, I know you. there are certain things that you uh, take very seriously and others you don't. So once again, it's time for Gator's annual Kentucky Derby picks. All right, so I've got three selections. Uh, that I think you should take a serious look at. And then there are three others that I think are kind of long shots, but it's kind of fun. You know, if you, you like you, the way Doug bets, throw a dollar here. You know, it's kind of fun. Okay. Uh, Which for, are you going to start with? I'll start with the, the first, the, the three real contenders that, that I like. Okay. Uh, the first one, Sansa Belt. Mm-hmm. It's a horse owned by the Game of Thrones actress Sophie Turner. She played Sansa Stark. Um, inspired after watching cast members race horses on the set of Game of Thrones, and they rode them bareback. The rules and regulations dictate that the jockeys are actually going to have to saddle up, but that's how they came with Sansa Belt. Okay. Gotcha. So that's one horse to look at. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a Canadian horse, uh, Peekaboot. Um, it's uh, owned by a Canadian owner, one of the heirs to the Arrow Candy uh, Fortune, the Candy Bar Fortune. Yep, sure. Uh, Doug DeGroote, um, and, and he got himself uh, a charmer here. Peekaboot is on a roll, four wins in the last five races, always breaking away from the pack before the back stretch. So. This is kind of like a this not front runner, but really kind of takes the the lead and and doesn't relinquish. Okay, and then there's um, big giant dong, uh, Chinese doctor Ming Ying brings his latest and greatest horse to Churchill Downs this weekend, and though most people have dong pegged to win at Pimlico down the road, the mayor of Maryland has turned in some blazing times. It's completely untested as a mutter though, and weather is uh, looming in the forecast this weekend. So good to know. You know Dr. Ng, D-O-N-G. There you go. Yep. Uh, the other three horses I like is Long Shots. Okay. Bag of Chum. That's got some value at 45 to 1. Okay. So if you want to throw some money there, you can do that. Uh, Sinkhole Surprise, another Long Shot at 75 to 1. Uh, and then this other horse, I just like because the name. I think it's funny. Okay. Do you even lift, bro? Right. It had nothing early going on, but has come on late to uh, to place in three straight races. So that's where I look at with the uh, the horses here. Okay. Sansa Belt, Peekaboot, and Big Giant Dong. All right. We will look for those in the Kentucky Derby coming up this weekend. As always, appreciate the time and effort you put into your picks. You a fan of the Arrow Candy Bar? Love the Arrow Candy Bar. And it, I didn't realize the owner was Doug DeGroote. Yeah. Yep. Another Doug. Yep. So I, spe- I specifically like the mint Arrow Candy. Yeah. I know some people don't like mint candies, but well, I do mint like mint can be... Very specialized. I do like the um, the mint arrow candy bar. So well, an appropriate. Thank you, Canada, for that. Listen, with the mint julep being the drink of the Kentucky Derby, maybe oh. maybe tomorrow is uh, that's that's the chance. There. Maybe I go with peekaboot. Peekaboot. Yep. Uh, I will. I will take a look. Um, thank you as always, always for that Gator. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. Hey, uh, serious note. What is um. What's going on with the NFL? They're laying off a bunch of people from the NFL Network today. How the hell is the NFL having to lay off people? I, I don't get it. I don't get it. The, the, the salary cap goes up <laughs> millions. What thirty million this year? The salary cap went up. Clearly, the league is making money. We know this, mm-hmm. but the league can't pay all of its employees. They're going to make cuts. So Michael Irvin has been laid off by NFL Network. Um, There is a bunch of people behind the scenes that are being laid off the NFL Network. I find the NFL laying off people to be, I I don't find it disturbing. I feel bad for the people that are getting laid off. I find it shocking (laughs) that that league ever has to worry about budgeting. But I guess if that branch or that arm of the league is losing money, do they just take that? They don't take it as a big holistic, we're making not. money. They're trying to cut costs with that particular branch of the NFL. An NFL spokesperson said that the league-wide cuts were made to, quote, ensure the continued strength of our game and the business. <laughs> All right. I mean... I, really? Are we really worried about the strength of the game? We just had over 700,000 people in a city 
to hear a man read off names. <laughs> yep. Not a game. No. Not a game. Not a game. Not a game. No. Not a game. But a draft. Just read off some names. Yeah, I, I think the NFL's struggling. We should talk about that more. Yeah, <laughs> right? We should. <laughs> the struggles in the NFL. Yeah. Yeah. How's this league ever going to hold it together? We don't even have games in space yet. <laughs> no, we don't. 